A very good morning to you. I hope you are well. The sun is shining outside and we're all feeling happy and gay. And I'm really looking forward to today because we've got lots of different crafts lined up for you throughout the day. Because here at the craft store, we broadcast live all the way through till 10 p.m. But we are 24 hours, seven days a week because we're going to repeat overnight. So whenever you're feeling crafty, We've got some crafts for you and at 6 p.m every day we launch a one day special a one day special is where we have great products at discounted prices for 24 hours and my word was it a busy launch last night it's from crafts 2 which means we've got the gorgeous john Hello. lockwood the boy next door <laughs> And you I are next I door. I am next door. I feel, I feel that every time. <laughs> With this window, it really does feel like I'm waving at Janice, I my neighbour. I know. But how are you, John? <laughs> I'm very well, thank you. Very well. Good, good, good. Uh, busy launch for the one-day special. And we've got great prices and we've got options as well, haven't we? We have, yeah. We've give, tried to give everybody the options that you could need so if you've got the stamp press you get the artboard if you haven't get it on its own you get it with the new inks there's so many combinations so there's something for everyone and everyone's budget which is really important to me and crafts too is yes you know we've, we've all got a budget so we've got to think what suits everybody yeah do you know what and i think that is absolutely fantastic let's take you through the details that we've got on the screen at the moment and the details you've got your item number at the top of the screen if you've never seen this before that's what you need to buy if you go online or give us a call so there's options of buying as well you've got these fabulous stencils that give you those great apertures to work with and you also get three ink sets which are gorgeous colors we'll talk all about those in a moment's time and you also get your art board as well with magnetic rules included now 45 percent of the stock has gone of that option it's a great option to go for and you've got two payments of 20 four pounds and 28 pence if you are a freedom member and freedom members always well not always but freedom members get extra discounts so if you are a freedom member and i know many 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 of you are either through the great um promotion we had the event last week or you're a freedom member anyway then you get that extra 10 percent off the price you can become a freedom member today if you want to triple eight triple eight your basket you can also start today with that great discount so that's the first option but let's just break it down before we explain what it is for you if you want to go for the stencils and the art board we'll bring the details up for that we're already busy i know just wipe your eyes and have a look at the tv again <laughs> 19 pounds and 98 pence my word, uh, that's why over half the stock has gone. That is an incredible price. 958364 is your item number. Y you do have to kind of rub your eyes, don't you, John? And then look at the TV screen again. 1998. You do on this. I was talking to Sam the other night, and he saw, he's got some stencils. that these The stencils are mylar. Yes. Yeah. So they're standard mylar that you would get any stencil cutting yeah yeah so it's the same shape and size he said he's bought stencils of this size yeah and he thought he got a bargain when he got three for 19.99 of the stencil well you know what there's a lot of mylar there there is there's an awful lot there's almost an a4 sheet when wow. we actually quoted these yes um they actually gave us the same price as they did for an a4 stencil wow because if you look there's very little difference between it, which is why that we worked really, really hard with Crafts 2 to bring you the metal stencil board, which you would expect to pay this for on its yes, own. Yes, you would. It's almost a case of you're getting six starter aperture stencils for nothing thrown wow. in. Wow. And you know the um, aperture stencils that you've got? We can ink through them. Uh, I've got a couple of samples here to show you. But you can also put your texture paste through them as well, you I guess. You can put your texture yeah. paste through them. You can put your gel mediums, your heavy body mediums. You can use them on double-sided adhesive. You can use them in any way you would normally use a stencil. And by using it in combination with the artboard, it removes all of that art use need of stencil tape, of low-tack tape, of gluing your stencil, of sticking it down. And that's the revolutionary bit, is that now you've not got all of that waste and you've not got all of that tape going into the environment and going in the rubbish. You know, when you told me that earlier on today, I just, you know when the penny drops, it was almost like being at an arcade and all the pennies dropped at once. Um, I thought that was an absolutely fantastic idea. Can we have a look at yeah. how it all works it's together? It's really simple. So I'm going to use it in the press to impress because it was designed to fit. So you're going to get the metal stencil board, just like this, the art board. And this is a sheet of metal that has been... Yes. Um, I'm trying to think of the right word. It has been 
covered completely. Yes. It's actually been like almost electroplated in Ooh. plastic and enamel, so it's not just a sheet of metal. Yeah. Yeah. We put it in. If you see, it's actually got all the measurements on it. So it's got from 1 to 19 along one so side. So they're on the board as well as the, they're the press. They're on the board as well Excellent. as on the press. 1 to 23 down here. Yep. That's all right. So you can place anything anywhere. OK. But the idea is I'll take a normal stencil first. Yes. Yeah. So I just grab a normal stencil. What I would have to do with this, let's just pop a piece of rag. Now let me just tell carbon. everyone at home, the actual stencils on their own have sold out. The art board has also sold out individually. So the only way you can get it is together. I mean, it's a great price, 19.98. Of course, you want them both together. And those are the details on the yeah, screen, John. It's so simple. So I've got my card in there. Yeah. Put my stencil on. Normally, now to stencil that, and look how detailed that is. Yes. I would have to stencil tape it all the way around. Well, you would really. Or spray glue it. No, because you get the rules included. So that goes on, and that goes on, and that's held in place. And I can use any other magnet. Anywhere. John, that is absolutely. So when I stencil now. Watch. I don't even have to touch it. That is that do you know do you know something? That's gonna save on what? tape, it's gonna save on time, it's gonna save on mess. Yeah. And it's instant. So I've used something really light there, and the great thing was because we used the press to impress, I can just use A4 card, I take one of the stencils that fits, and look, they've been designed to fit. They've even been designed with a tight corner there. So they kind of into place. notch into place. And again, if you want to, you can sort of trim that a little bit. But I can just go down. Let's pop the rule on as well. So there, let's take a little bit of ink. There's my basic shape. But if you notice, I'm that's not even touching. And that's not moving. The stencil. Oh, John. I'm not holding it in place. I'm just going around. Do you know something? Just that could like also that. help as well. You know, if you've got dexterity problems, maybe, you know, both of your hands aren't working yeah. as they should. We still All craft because we've got one hand working. Literally. Perfect. And I can keep building up. It doesn't move. And when I take that off, there's my perfect shape. Love that. I love, I love the fact you can use your inks with this. I love the fact that you can use your texture paste with this as well to just elevate that particular aperture if you want to as well and make it a little bit deeper, which is, which is excellent. You don't have to use these with the uh, platform. You can use them, of course, on their own in different designs as well. But you've got all of those shapes which are so, so popular. The circle, the love heart, the oval. You've got the square. You've got the rectangle. And you also have the hexagon as well. We are now approaching 60% of the stock gone of this fantastic deal. If you know somebody who's got a birthday coming up, this is going to be a fantastic birthday present for them. And do you know something? It's going to look like you spent a lot more money on them. Not that that matters, but you know what? Sometimes it does when you're trying to score those brownie points. £19.98, £98 a superb deal if you're going for this option. 958364 is your item number. Now, you did see John using some inks there, and we have got three sets sets of inks for you now if you want these on their own you can go for them but if you're going for these with the collection we'll give you the details in a moment but 37.97 saves you four pounds but you're getting 24 colors you've got your pearl dawn your rainbow and your tea time now i love these john because i love the design of these can we just talk about the, these these are really clever these are brand new color sets that yes. we launched last night and the fantastic thing is each one's getting eight colors in it so you've got eight colors in there yep again doesn't matter how i do it or shake it and you're a strong it. boy john i, I know that yeah <laughs> i'm not but the thing is they're held in place even with the lid off oh my word yeah, because we took the magnets out, customer feedback, some customers couldn't use them because of pacemakers. Ah. So we took the magnets out, came up with a new system where they actually click in. But what you're getting is eight colours of pigment ink. Yeah. Yeah, e each one is a different new colour. Why is pigment ink Well, so pigment important. ink is thing because pigment ink is open. So first of all, pigment ink is opaque. Yes. So when you use a dye ink, yep. so you use something like, say, a distress ink, yep. it's basically colour and water. Got you. So when you put it on, you can see it through whatever, you know, you see through whatever you've done yes. and it's pale. This is actually made together with effectively colour, water and a little bit of glue, like a glycerin. Oh. And it extends the drying time. OK. So if I take a little piece of card here and I put one colour down, if that was dye ink, 
yeah that would be fixed there yes but I can pull it out and blend right. it because it's got that little bit of blending in it so it's a perfect blending ink love that but the main difference between these and something like some of the big packs um, so you get the um, I don't want to sort of give a say a particular brand of course but a lot of the pigment inks that people are using are oil based okay ours are water based and that means that I can take a water brush mix water with it and I can paint <gasps> with it and look at that finish you're getting, John. So what I've actually got effectively is I've got an ink now that I can colour with, that I can blend with, that I can go through stencils. And you've only put, a, well, you've not put a lot, have you, onto no. the, uh, the pad next to it? So I can do all of that. I can heat emboss over the top of it. Can you? So I've turned all of those colours now into embossing because use clear embossing powder over them, wow. stamp with them. But I can also watercolour with them or I can mix them because they are water-based. So I can take a little bit of blue there and I can mix some of the green with the blue and make my own sort of new sort of turquoisey shade. Look at that. And I can keep blending on there. So with a water brush or some water and a brush, you've got that fabulous way of painting and colouring in. Yep. You can blend it out after you've placed it onto your artwork, which yep. again is wonderful, especially with the apertures as well, being uh, able to blend them. And you've got all of those fantastic colours in there as well. A whole array of colours, uh, John, to take you through all kinds of different artwork. You have. What we've got with the two, with the tea time and the rainbow, what you've actually got is, one of them is your primaries almost. Yeah. And one of them, so if I move them over, that's your primaries, that's your tones. Okay. So if you notice there, you've got a dark green and a, like a limey green. Yes. In the next set, the tea time, there's the mid one between <gasps> them. Oh, I like that. In, the, in this one, you've, there you've got that limey green and that sort of bright blue. Yes. There is the teal mix between them. Oh, isn't that brilliant? So what we've done is we've almost gone primaries and shades so you could almost do with a 16 palette and yes. they're all running yeah. around gives you them all of them the other one is pearl okay so this is actually pearlized and this has literally mica set in it oh you can see so that you see the shimmer so if i put some of that down on a piece of paper does that work in the same way john if you've exactly got a water brush the same really? way and normally inks that are sparkly that are pearl yes. have to be oil based yeah, or solvent do. based they're usually alcohol based but if you see there. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. So that's your, that's your reflection. That's your sort of, that's your pearl. Yep. That's your plane. So, so we'll say that's your stitch. That's yes. your pearl. Yeah. But if you can see the difference there. Yeah, you can. Yeah. You can. So what you've got is beautiful collection of pearl inks. And again, going through your beautiful basics. So your browns, your orange, your blue, your yellow, your red, your green. So again, you wow. can mix all of those. They, I just love these. And the thing is, the fab thing is, these stack. So if you manage to get our last set. Yes. So I think we, we launched with five originally. Yep. And these sort of closed the gaps off. They all stack together like that. Oh, that is brilliant. No, it's supposed to work like that. There we go. No, it's not going to. But they all stack. I love but that. How much would it cost you for 24 colours of pigment ink Oh, pads? my goodness. We worked out with the one Sam's using over £100. Wow. Well, I'm not surprised. We're very, very busy. 099443 is your item number. That's for the one-day special and the inks. That is incredible value for money. Let's break down the savings for you so you know what you're getting. You've got a £4 saving on your one-day special, a £4 saving on the inks on their own, and then another £4 saving if you're going for both combined but then of course freedom members get the extra 10 percent off oh my days 48 pounds and 56 pence the inks the stencils the board the rules all of that included your first payment just 24 pounds and 28 pence because what we'll do is we'll divide the cost into two payments interest free no credit cards no credit checks it's really easy you could go onto the website right now you could select what you want your one day special you can go for that and you can just tick the box where it says flexi that's it that's all you need to do and then you just pay half today plus your pmp if you're a freedom member there's no pmp to pay and then another half without your pmp in a month's time so it makes it easy you know what it's like we budget ourselves each month for various different things in our lives it could be grocery shopping it could be our mobile phone for example it could be going out now we can 
And we also, of course, give ourselves a budget we try to for our crafting as well. Sometimes that just goes out the window, <laughs> uh, but we try to, don't we? So this gives you the chance to have your cake and eat it too. And we all like that, don't we? Think about that endless cake. Yay. Unfortunately, I can't give you that. Unfortunately, I can't give you that. Uh, we're very, very busy, though, now for this option. Uh, nearly half the stock has gone. I don't want anyone to miss out. Uh, I don't want to push you. It's your decision, but we don't want anyone to miss out. Uh, right, details on your screen for that particular option. Now, if you are new to stamping and stenciling, we do have another option for you, and this is a brilliant option, John. This gets you your one-day special, so you've got your stencils. It gets you the board, but it also gets you the stencils stamping platform and case to pop it away into and also to take it when we can round to our friend's house or maybe just take it from one room to another that is a fabulous fabulous option to go for you've got your two magnets on the actual stamping platform and then you've got two extra magnets as well so i think that also is a marvelous deal if you want to go for that two paints of 27 pounds and 48 pence we've also been very 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 busy for that option as well nearly 80 percent of the stock has gone john this is thick i love this I, I genuinely adore this i really really do we i always refer back to um there's a lady and she demonstrates for a different company mm -hmm. um i think sharon armstrong jones she did a youtube video about two years ago comparing all the stamp platforms on the market really yeah Ooh. independently she bought all of them herself okay and the press to impress came out the top did it yeah and that video is still available on YouTube if anyone wants to watch it, where she compares them all. Oh, that'd be interesting. Because I, I think it's always worth seeing someone independent. Uh, definitely. Showing you. And again, I've got lots of them. Why do you like it, John? I, I love this because, first of all, you've got the foam in here. Yes. And you need the foam. People who at home are struggling with getting stamps to connect in stamp platforms mm. and push down. Clear stamps... The law of physics say they need something soft. Okay. Because if you think about it, if I take, I'll take a very complex stamp. Yep. Yeah. So if I take this one, which is a very complicated stamp, yeah, got a lot of detail, that surface is hard. That stamp is relatively hard. Yeah. Yeah. The base of your platform is hard. Yes. And you put card in, which is hard. Yes. And if you put pressure on to a sandwich, what happens? Well, it's something squidge. squidges. Yes, yeah. So course. what you can get is that your stamp image can squidge. So that's why when I've pushed down too hard when I'm stamping, it distorts the lines. Got you. Yeah. So you I need. I thought it was just me. The foam, no. Yeah. That's standard. So, I didn't stamp, and I would never stamp on TV. Very rarely. I yeah. hated doing it with yeah. before these were invented. The second reason, so the other reason I like it is it's one of the only ones that securely takes A4 card. Yes. Because of this little notch here, because we don't have card pre-cut to size yeah. at home. Yeah. So that's A4 card, but look how stable that is without a magnet. That is brilliant. Yeah. So I go down. So I'm going to stamp this a complex image. Okay. Okay. And what I'm going to do is just intentionally miss part. Okay. Because we do this. Because if your stamp's primed, I always prime my stamps by inking them two or three times and then leaving them with the black ink on. Oh, really? A clean oh, stamp never it, gives a good impression. I thought you, you da, no. da, 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 stamped it and stamped it to get the ink off, so leave it on. No, I leave it on. Well, there you go. Yeah. Um, you look how black that is. Yeah. So that looks as if there's ink everywhere. There actually isn't. So I go down like that. Yeah. Okay. And I just press, but look, I can actually, if I struggle with yeah. dexterity, yeah. I can press on that hard. Yes. I can use a brayer on there. I could even stand on it. Do you know what? What a great idea using a brayer. I didn't yeah. even think about that. Use a brayer over the top. Or a rolling top. pin if you've got or one. Or a rolling, rolling pin. If you've got yeah. dexterity and pressure issues, a rolling pin's perfect. Great idea. Yeah. Or but the empty bottle after the night before. Yeah, that's yep, another good do. one. You see there, look how clean and crisp that is. All that, that detail. That looks beautiful. But look, a piece missing. Oh. Yeah. The stamping platform means I could never line that stamp up by hand. No, you couldn't. In. I so really couldn't. So you, you're going to put the extra detail in? I'm just going to ink the bit that was missing, Yeah. back over, press, everywhere again, doesn't matter, and nobody knows you didn't stamp that right. Look at that. And by the way, we have these stamps available on the show. That is a beautiful stamp, John. It really that is. That is It was drawn gorgeous. especially for us yeah. by Cheryl. The fab thing is about this as well, is the next sort of stage on it is we take that card out mm -hmm. 
You've got one of Leslie's chocolate Barock stamps yes. and it's pre-mounted for you. Yeah, they're a bit thicker, aren't so they? So it already has the foam. Yeah. So what you do is you don't mess about changing this or anything. No. You take the foam out. Because the foam's already on the, the stamp. foam's already on the stamp wow. and you do it. If you've got one of the rubber stamps that's unmounted that Leslie yes. does, if you put a little bit of glue on the back and you stick it to there and leave the foam in. All oh, right. So, you so you've got the best the of all worlds. Best of all worlds and now the next advancement, the new one is, yes. if, you want to, if you want to stencil in this, yeah. this, can you, I don't know if you can hear. It's got a bit of a ridge. It's got a ridge okay. that matches mathematically with all the points on here. Okay. But if I draw on that, I'm going to get those ridges yeah, through. Yeah, you are. If I stencil on that, I'm going to get those ridges yeah, through. Yeah, you are. What you've got now is the magnetic board or the metallic board that fits in. So you've got a foam, now you've got a metal board. So what we do then is simply take a piece of card or A4 again because it doesn't alter that. We put that down. I'll grab one of Sam's intricate okay. random stencil, yeah? So this could be a stencil from any company. I think, I think this might be Funky Fossil, to be honest. It might be, or it might be Studio Might be Studio Light. Light. I think it's Studio yeah. Light. Yes, it's Studio he Light. He has got a bit of a thing for Studio Light, but yes. there, right? So that's really intricate, and Is that's it? held down. Watch. I'm not touching it. Oh, John, that is... Do you know, I've got a stencil similar to this, and you get stencils that are really fine, so you don't see you? See it flipped up there? Yeah. It's fine, I can just put it back and say, right, OK, I might need another magnet on that. And then off you go. But I go through that. I'm not using a good ink yeah. colour to show on TV, but then when I take that off... You've got... Oh, oh that, that does look, look nice. Look how crisp that white looks. But also, yeah. let's say I want to draw through that. I want to do some doodling or some yes. noodling. Yeah. What? Well, I can just completely smooth. Now, how many times have you tried to draw through stencils, around stencils at home, when you're trying to hold it in place and you've got that intricacy of all the details that you're trying to capture with your micron pens or whatever it is you're using and the stencil moves halfway through yep. and you think oh i've just kind of ruined it now that keeps it absolutely still every time i just move a magnet but even there where it's loose you see now so when i take those off oh look at that Absolutely perfect. 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 Every you, you're single making, time. It basically turns it into a creation station. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And something that you can have on your knee as well. Yeah. That is so lightweight. Yeah. You could sit with that on your knee yeah. and sit and work and draw in it. You put can it on take a tray it with anything. you. You can take it travelling when you go, when we go back on our holidays as well. Uh, right. You've got your options to go for. You choose wisely what you want, but always make sure you check out your basket to make sure you get what you want. Whilst you do that, we give you a bit of time. Take a look at this. gorgeous aren't they uh, by the way the brushes that John was using I know many of you want to get hold of these they are available and a case as well to keep them in this is superb value for money only 15 pounds and 99 pence and you get the case as well um, I, I laugh because I just <laughs> think these prices are, are marvelous I really do well, what, um, we've, what we've actually done on this one is case. normally that case comes with two with four sets of brushes yes and again to meet everyone's budget and because we knew 
that obviously it was going to be quite, you know, there, there's going to be quite a lot with the stencil and everything. This is a new configuration, so you get all the five, so one of each size, yep. plus the case for them this oh, time. Great. So it's we've, we've given you an, a different option again, to, because we've all got budgets. We keep yep. saying it, but we genuinely have. Yeah, we do. And do you know something? If you're going for your flexi payments, add this to your basket, and it's only eight pounds eight pounds today and eight pounds next month so definitely worth thinking about if you've been wanting to get hold of brushes like this you've seen our demonstrators using them here on the craft store now's a chance to get hold of them and that case as well to keep them nice uh, and tidy right john what are we going to have a look right. at? Right, OK, so what I want to do is I'm going to show you something that I was I promised I'd show last night. So we've seen the placement, yes. and I will show you in a little bit how you can use this without the platform. Okay. So it's got to be usable on its own. Yeah. Everything has to stand on its own. So I'm just going to take another piece of A4 card. I just love the fact it fits A4. I know, isn't that brilliant? That was brilliant? so frustrating to me in the past. And I'm going to use, and I've just cleaned it and not... This had got black ink on it, yep. so all I actually did was... I put a piece of paper in, put that down, took my cloth yeah. and cleaned my stencil over and then the that paper. Came into the, the but there's the start of another card. Brilliant. Put a tree on that. Yeah. Put some what I'll actually do is I'll show you in a bit. Next one I'll show you how we actually put some clouds into it. John, that. I've got a question right from the off. Yes. Uh, and I beg your pardon, but it's always good when you think of things. And again, if you have a question, it's studio at the craftstore.com. You're using the stamping platform from left to right. Yes. Can you use it yes. from top to bottom and the other way round as well? So if you're more comfortable, if you're left-handed, you can yeah. use it that way. Yeah. Yeah. You can also use it that way. Ah, because I've seen, I've seen different yeah. demonstrators use platforms that's in different the, ways. That's the benefit of actually having the open sides, <coughs> yes. is it doesn't matter which way you use it, whichever way is comfortable to you. I always used to do it that way. Brilliant. And then suddenly I realised oh, it's a lot easier for me that way. So whichever way you want it, you just do it whichever you way you want. You can just have it. Any way you want it, any way you need it. I love that. So I'm just going to put on the circle stencil and I'm going to use one of the smaller rules. And I mentioned about the rules. The rules are flexible. Yeah. Oh. So are they magnetic? They're magnetic. Oh, now that's interesting, so, isn't but it? But they're actually, the zero starts in the middle. Now, why is that? Well, that's really important. I actually watched, again, I, I feel very sorry because I've mentioned Leone on lots of shows, <laughs> but we watched her being loose with Darkroom Door the other day. Yes. Um, and one of the things she, she was doing, she did a beautiful stamp, yeah. then she put it in a guillotine to trim down. Okay. And she kept trimming off different sides to get it even. Yes. This does it for you. Does it? Well, let's say I want, okay, that circle to be cut out even in a square, yeah? Yes. What I do is I put my rule on, in the middle yeah I see. so let's put it that way up because I'm an inches person okay but I can see it's in the middle there because look that is on the one and seven eighths yeah and that side is on the one and seven eighths okay yeah got you so that is exactly in the middle so if I want to put a perfect border on there I can mark there let's mark at two and a half yep and mark at two and a half yeah I get it. Let's go the other way around again and let's put it in the middle so we go to one and seven eighths again. Yeah. You know, find the right point. Okay. So it was two and a half <laughs> and two and a half. And I then just cut on those lines. Is that for both of the rules that you've both got? Both of them, including the full length one. The 12 inch goes. 0 to 6 and 0 to 6. That's so And it handy does it job. in metric and what a in great imperial. Idea. And what you do, so then I can go in there and go, right, okay, well, there's my card straight, there's my notch. Of course, you don't need to draw that. I was thinking you need to draw a line, but no, you don't. No, because I don't. There we go. Look at that. So I can just keep going. I think I got the measurement slightly <laughs> wrong on this one. But if you look, it's the same from each side. It is. John, that is absolutely fantastic. And so how quick was that without drawing lines, without scoring it or getting out another tool system to use? You've got it right there with the ruler and I'm sure you've got other ways of using those rules as well. What an absolutely fantastic it's idea. It's just, it makes the, I like cheats. I like things to be easier. I want things to be simple. Yeah. Um, so what I thought I'm going to do is let's go with... We'll go with a little bit of yellow, shall we? Actually, now, no, I want to go with the we're green. We're busy on the phone lines this morning, John, so uh, we do have about 
two two minute cues if you are waiting uh, we will get through to your calls we are there so please bear with us um, the quickest way to order would be the website or if you downloaded the app you can buy off the app you can actually watch us and buy from us at the same time so you've got all of your options right there right so what I'm going to do is you can apply your ink directly to your brush okay but what you do then is you can get sort of dark areas what happens if you've already got ink on your brush and you're taking it to well, the ink pad? I, you can clean it off mm. on a bit of paper, yeah. but that's why I have the roll. And I'm, I'm very sorry, I have two sets in here, okay. um, which was the original piece. And I love the roll because um, somebody said, oh, how, do they, how come these hold the brushes? Well, how does it work? Yeah. These have been in here for over seven months. Have they? This bit folds in, but if you look, as it rolls, none of the brush heads touch anything else. Right. That's why we went with the roll. We tried loads of different yeah. cases, yeah. and that keeps those heads from touching. I so I have got a collection, yep. but you can clean them in between. But if I go yeah. directly on, it'll be dark. I want soft. Yep. This is the other area the press to impress is so cleverly thought out. When sort of Jane and Peter designed this, yeah. they really thought of it because Jane's a, a crafter for sort of thirty years. Yeah. She knows. So the top of this lid is gridded. Okay. And you can, again, it's scored in. Yep. That's so you can get your stamp sentiment straight. That's a good idea. So you've got straight lines that are straight and equidistant to yep. that. And you've even got measurements. Brilliant. So it works. The other side is completely flat. And that's so you can, so use, you can like use that palette. as a palette. Oh, John, this is, like that's you say, why I call it's a station, a creation isn't it? Station. Yep, it is. So I can now pick up that ink and I can just lightly dust around the circle. Because stencils like this are not just for creating or a circle. So what I'm doing is I'm going around the outside, round all sort of around the outside, yeah? And I'm bringing the brush in as it runs out. Yeah. Yeah? So you think I've done nothing. Okay. Okay. We take that off. Then I've got the most subtle Ooh. circle. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Do you know what you can do as well, John? I guess if you've got a micron pen, you can go around the outside of it. So you've also got that perfect circle yeah, so or shape. you can draw around the outside. Yeah. You can do stitched lines or anything. Yeah, or but what I want lines. to do is I want to make a wreath. Go on. Yeah. So normally if you make a wreath, I'm going to use some of the finger stamps that we have got on the show. Oh, now these are fantastic. I saw, I saw these on the we'll show and I just think these are brilliant. sold out on Boxing Day when we launched. Yeah. This is the first time back. Oh, my goodness. Um, these are absolutely fabulous because it gives you a chance now to build up your scenes whether it be trees foliage whether you're putting together uh, your wreaths for example you've got lots of different shapes and designs in there stars and snowflakes you've got butterflies in there as well you've got your dragonflies in there you've got your twigs and your leaves i think it's absolutely fantastic 17.95 for 67 stamps yeah. and you are the designer whether it might be a little accent on your designs would be fabulous a little logo maybe for handmade by if you're doing that on the back of your cards for example but it gives you that opportunity to bring them together saving four pounds on that price and if you're going for these alongside your one day special if you already found them and put them into your basket we'll divide the cost of that into two if you're going for your flexi buy so that is a superb deal eight one eight nine six two is your item number love these john so what i'd normally need to do if i want to do a wreath is i would have to draw a pencil line yes well i don't because i've, I've You've already got it i've got that circle so all i do now is basically follow that line around one two so i'm doing first and second generation okay, okay. the ink is from my fingers as per usual <laughs> so one but that's that's okay John because we could trim that off if we wanted two. to well we would yeah I mean I would trim this down I never do a full piece of stamping but so I go can you see and the stamps were designed yeah to f this particular stamp was designed to follow that pattern Isn't that lovely so I'm just going to go in and do the third one here but you notice I'm stamping straight onto yeah the metal artboard yes because this is another clever trick that we've never really shared with anyone okay. of the press to impress yeah if you grab yours yep. if you grab the one you've got on okay and turn it over to the back side and fill what's on the back oh hang on hang on i thought that was the map from inside no see we have put inside. foam on the back so that if you are stamping onto the stencil plate yeah. you've still got some give with You've the foam that's on the back. 
So what it's not a great plastic idea. back, it's foam backed as well. And what a, do you know, I really genuinely thought that that on the back was just placed there from the platform, but it's not. No. That's fabulous. What a great, what an absolutely fantastic design. It what really a fabulous was design. It's so well thought through. It's amazing. It really is. So all I'm going to do now is just carry on. And now I'm using from the pearl set the green from there. Yep, so. Oh, that looks effective, but John. Can you that does look really good. You could, you'd spend a little bit more time building it up, but to me... It's, you know, like, again, it's like that rabbit hole, John. It is. Yeah. If, say, you've got some, um, you know, like the fairy hooks? Yes. Or Lavinia? Yes. How beautiful would they work through this? Oh, they really would. And again, if you struggle with some do doing some of the patterns, you know, like with the media plates and things, yeah. this will solve it. So that there I've got almost a full winter seam. I'm going to actually make it a little bit more wintry. Cool. I'm going to take now this sort of brown gold. Yeah. Because all the colours in the pearl are new colours and not ones we've done before. So this one has got an almost brown gold. So I'm just going to, you see there, how that gives almost a wintry feel. But when you actually see that, you'll see that it's actually got the mica in it as well. You'll actually see it on my stamp. Look at the flexion yeah, of the gold on my stamp. John, that looks fabulous. And this is just one of those 67 stamps that you can go for in that bundle for £17.95. It is an incredible deal. Um, and you've got this lovely tree or twig or branch, but you've also got different sizes in that stamp as well, as well and as alongside all your different shapes, which is super valid for money. And just being able to build that up how fabulous is that? if you look then how that is, so now I'm going to take some of my little finger stamps and just build into that. Now, I'm, I have to make an apology here. Go on. We do not have the finger blocks. Oh. Yeah, I'm really sorry. We had them. They sold out on Boxing Day. Everyone knows the supply issues that we're all having yes. at the moment. Yeah, that's true. Of getting things in. So what you can do is I will show you, you can use something like the little mini block. Okay. You can use some of your pegs if you've got those. You can use pegs. Yeah, you know, like the long peg type ones. Oh yes. Blocks. You can use any blocks you want. Mm. You know, these are standard, made in the UK stamps. Yeah. Um, and we say that because the photopolymer ones are stickier. Yeah. So they actually stick to little blocks a lot better. Okay. Um, but what I'm going to do is just a little fir branch here. But I'm just going to add in some little bits do you know what a set accent. like this isn't it is it going to be rewarding um allowing yourself that creativity to build up different designs and and then you actually get to you're almost you're designing your own um apertures and designs but you're almost designing your own stamp with all of you the are. whole collection together, yeah. John. Nothing will ever look the same. It won't look the same as anybody else's. No. And this is where the inks are so fab, because can you imagine what it would be like to have to take the lid off eight different colours of ink? Oh, my goodness, yeah. Or, I mean, I've actually got at my fingertips now 24 colours of ink, and all I've had to do is to take three lids off. And you've got them all there. They're all organised. They're not going to get lost. You can put the lids back on at any time. You can stack them up and put them away. I love that idea. So I can then echo all those colours and just keep sort of building. And I would keep building that and adding more onto it yeah. and then say, OK, well, this is what's great about pigment ink, because I can add now a flower over the top. Because of pigment inks are stamped. opaque. Yeah. OK. So if you look now, I can start to add Oh, look at, oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that, that colour combination. It's just, it's not lost. So first and second. But can you oh, see? Oh, that looks, I'm just, I'm, I'm looking on our monitors, but I'm also looking at the side of me now. Um, at a distance, of course. That's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, we're getting a close-up of it now, John. <gasps> so let's say, um, this is where, to be fair, this is the time I clean my stamps. Yeah. So, but my stamp cleaning mat fits inside my case 
I don't think we've got this on the show, sorry. Oh, <laughs> I know, because Janice not? loves this. Do you know what? I love this. It's so handy. Oh, well. Oh, no, I think that pink's a little bit light, so let's go with a little bit of orange, shall we? Oh, that, so is, let's just that bring. is so pretty. And you're quite right, John. If you've got your Lavinia stamps, if you've got your fairy hug stamp, any stamp, any stamps that you think is going to go alongside this or put a sentiment in the middle, you've created this design. Uh, it could almost be like you're creating your own stamp. I absolutely love yeah. that, John. How beautiful but is that? What I'm going to put in the middle, so just one more bit yep. to show, is I want to put into here a sentiment okay and I'm gonna do that in black yeah yeah and I don't want to mark or ma mix up any of that okay so what I can do is put back I see. and then that covers it up because it's in exactly the same this is the benefit of having them notched and made to fit I love that yeah and what you find is you'll see that they're just that little bit bigger yeah than the notch and that's so that you can really clip it down so you've got it in exactly yeah. the same place so you'll find that that is just that little bit yeah bigger there you see just so you can clip it in place so i can go to um let's go i'm going to put the poem in it probably doesn't match from the daffodil set but now i can get that right my, my hands are touching yeah but they're not touching not the smudging. work there i've already smudged some black not do intentionally. Do you know what's great about the stamping platform? Look how John has placed the sentiment in the middle, knows exactly where it is, measuring it up, yeah. and it's done. If you're stamping directly onto that, you've got to hover over the area and you've got to move left and, and yeah. move a little bit right and move a little bit and, and, and down and then you commit yourself and your stamp goes down and it's just off centre. Whereas with your stamp platform, you get a chance to see where it is before you, you see put exactly it on there. exactly where it is. And of course, if you're really concerned, use your rule. Yes. So go yeah. two and two. This is a two inch circle because all of these stencils yeah. have been matched with the press cut nesting dies. Right. So they are all the same aspect ratio. The yeah. oval will nest with those. Yeah. The hexagon will nest with ours. How superb. But also they've all been done on the same measurement. So if you want to cut this out, yes. there is a two inch. If you notice it's two inches, yeah. there's a two inch circle die in the press cut. That and there's a well two and a quarter out. to mat there. So I now know that is the center point. Yes. So I can go, right, that's exactly the center point. There's one, two, three, six lines in there, yeah? Yep. So that looks like it's the center point there. I then pick that up, take the rule off. I love that. Take my ink. And normally, I would say this is a really detailed, fine text stamp. OK. Yeah, so you would need your foam for this. Well, you would normally. But I've got the foam on the bottom, haven't of course, I? Of on the on bottom. On the bottom of the press, so I don't have to worry as much. There we go. Look at that. And, and then take those And how off. clean is that? Oh, John. Oh, you're like a magician. I love it. Isn't that wonderful? And if you were to make that again, it wouldn't be exactly nope. the same each and every time. So you can start batch making your cards. And the more you make it, that muscle memory that you'll have, that you can put the different stamps in the different areas. Thanks, John. What a fantastic demo. What a fantastic demo. Right, let's go through your options because all you need to do is choose and decide. Right, your one day special. You've got your six stencils, those fabulous aperture stencils, which will give you the perfect aperture each and every time. Whatever you're putting inside your aperture or even using them with your texture paste as well to elevate those shapes. Uh, they look amazing. How many times have you tried to get that circle exact? How many times have you tried to get that heart exactly how you want it to be? Now you've got the opportunity to do it time and time again. £19.98 gets you your six press to impress stencil shapes and you also get that very very impressive art board as well and on there it's made of metal you get those two magnetic rules as well you've got all of your measurements 
so you can add items down into place in the exact place you want them and I know as stampers you want them in the exact place because it's got to be just right and if you're brand new to stamping well you need to get off on the right foot and this is going to allow you to do that now you can't get the stencils or the board individually you can only get them in the bundle but my goodness 19 pounds and 98 pence that's an incredible price. I don't even think you can buy fish and chips twice for that price. I think, no, actually, you, I think I, you'd I'm be paying just, a lot more. Yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking of the, the one we used to use, books. Yeah, that, yeah no, oh, not a hope. I know. Shippy. Others are available. <laughs> yes, they are, but yeah, we, dri we drive down We, do, we used to yes. drive down Oh, sorry, well. everyone. Yeah, we're sorry. just discussing fish and chips there. <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we got away late. Uh, over 60% of the one day special has gone. Over 60% has gone. Um, time and time again, using these stencils, your apertures are really important, especially in those designs where you do want to have that white space around the edge of the card you can draw around these as well it doesn't have to be inking but doesn't it give you that lovely ombre effect when you use your inks with these particular stencils you've got six different shapes and you've got that artboard now we have got the inks for you that have been used in these designs which look absolutely beautiful you've got your pearlescence and you've got your lovely bright colors in there as well uh, something for everyone something for everything that you're creating you're saving you've got your four pounds off your one day special you've got your four pounds off the inks on their own but then by going for all of these together you've got a further four pound saving you do the math, add it all up at home. If you're a Freedom member, it gets even better. You get an extra 10% on top of the four, on top of the four, on top of the four. I'm sure you can do the math at home. 48.56, but we'll divide that cost into two payments for you. So today, £24.28, no P&P as a Freedom member. You get all of the inks, you get all of the stencils, and you get your artboard and those rules as well. But over half the stock has gone. What a fabulous starter kit what a fabulous addition to your crafting room whether your room is a room that's kind of on the move because sometimes you're in the dining room sometimes you're in the lounge area sometimes you're resting upstairs in your bedroom or maybe you might be out in the garden so having something like this that's compact and fabulous you can take this with you you can start creating of course there'll be another payment to 24 28 in a month's time as well but it is a great way to buy and if you are opening up your flexi basket then anything else that you add to that basket will be divided into two as well now your option with the platform lots and lots of people going for this you also get the bag as well to put your platform in i think this is an absolute must-have even if you're a seasoned stamper and you've never used a platform before and you're sitting at home thinking do you know what i could i don't need one i've been stamping for years and years and years and years and years but think back to those different designs. Think back to how much time you spend trying to get that stamp just in the right place. Or maybe you always put it in one place because you're familiar with that and that's good for you. And it's like that muscle memory, isn't it? It's like, yep, that's a good place. Yep, that's a good place. Try mixing it up and putting your sentiment maybe just off left or maybe just off to the center or down at the bottom. Maybe that's something you've not done before. With your stamping platform, you've got the opportunity to do that and get that precision stamping. It's beautifully designed as well. You've got your magnets and you've got your extra magnets as well you've got the soft foam mount that you can take out in case your stamps are already mounted and you've also got the soft foam on the back that is an excellent deal that is an excellent deal so you've got your stencils the artboard which fits into the stamping platform and the bag as well for 27.48 today and then another payment in a month's time and if you do want to go for the inks on top of that just add them to your basket and we'll divide the cost of the inks into two as well so you can add the whole lot if you want to uh, it's entirely up to you now if you want some stamps the stamps that John has been using and we've got them right here now these uh, John are so beautiful in the design it's a lovely how could it it's it's, it's a lovely organic look to the flowers it just is. how you'd see them in the garden it is they, they're beautiful what we do normally is these launched last night so these are brand new launched last night and these if you notice on the packaging it says two j's but it says artisan collection yes and it actually says by cheryl simpson okay. normally with two j's what we actually do is we buy licensed design or artwork design for them yeah this time we've actually got cheryl who is an artist to draw them for us oh 
Oh, lovely. So if you turn over the packaging, yes. on the back of the packaging, you'll actually see the original sketches that Cheryl did. Oh, So look. what I've done is shown you that's the original artwork that Cheryl did for us. Yeah. That she sent it through, so she drew it um, and then scanned it and sent it through. And then I took that and changed the stamps to become the whole set. So I sort of created the stamps from them. Yes. So this is a sort of new collection for us where we've actually um, commissioned an artist to draw for us. And I love a daisy and I love a daffodil, so that's what I asked for. They are lovely, um, aren't they? And then what we did was convert them into stamps for you. So again, these have got a full angel policy okay. because these have been drawn for us. Wow. So we hold the license. So we can make, so create you can make and, and sell. Make for charity, make for yourself, do what you like. I mean, don't stamp out six of them and flog them. But no, of course not. You wouldn't not. do that. But they are beautiful and you can see an artist drawn them they're not just pulled from a book no i like that i like that and they're very they're very natural um what i love about this you've got your daffodils there but you've also got one that's just about to come out now normally you know if you want your stamping um you know like you say been taken offline or from a book you might not have that there but because an artist has drawn it with an artist's eye looking at nature that's included and that's exactly how the flowers should be it I think. is and i'm hoping when i get home ours might be like that because they were only just starting to come out were when they? i left it's been a strange it's been year a very hasn't strange it year. it has yeah. indeed. do you know i love daffodils i really do. I do and because you've got the different colored daffodils as well you've got the opportunity to color them differently here's a lovely example of that which is beautiful you've also got the sentiments as well so you've got those included uh, so this is a fabulous set of stamps 25 stamps in total uh, and don't forget we've got those gorgeous daisies as well 24 pounds and 98 pence but 70 percent of the stock is gone 068964 is your item number absolutely beautiful set of stamps don't forget you've got the bees in there as well lots of bees out there at the moment which we're thankful for look after your bees it's important right we have those finger stamps I, oh john i love these i love do you know what i just want to sit down when i see something like this i want to sit down and play with them yeah and experiment with them and use them in all kinds of different configurations and you've got 67 stamps here there is that you've got each of the smaller sets has at least i think it's 12 in there the flowers actually have 18 because they've got little centers but you've got the cherry blossom so you've got the beautiful you've got all the different twigs that you would yeah. ever need i think in yes. that one but then you've got beautiful flowers so you can see there you've got 12 bigger flowers oh, and then the centers then you've got the foliage and you've got even like a ginkgo leaf, a maple leaf. You've got a little selection of berries. You've got the bugs. So you've got butterflies, you've got a bee, you've got dragonflies. And then the Christmas, you've got little baubles and snowflakes and of course a star. Oh, do you know what? These are so super cute. I just noticed a little dandelion clock down there as well. Yeah. How beautiful is that? Um, I've got a, a, a sample here. Now imagine this, making this card. If you were to buy a stamp like that, I don't, I've, I've never seen one. But what you've got here is the chance to put this together, but also make it bespoke to the person you're giving it to. But let's open it up because we wanted to extend that pattern. Now you can because you're making your own. Otherwise, you'd have to buy a stamp set for the design on the borders, another stamp set to get your corners, and another stamp set to get your wreath on the front. Now you're designing it. Isn't that brilliant? That would be a £15 A5 stamp set. And then some, yeah. Just to do that. Yeah, it would. Yeah, you're right. And that was all it would do. And of course, you couldn't get the different colours in there because no. you'd have to, it would just be monochromatic. Yeah, of course it would. You of couldn't course do it all would. the different colours. And that's why this is such a superb set to go for. £17.95. Treat yourself and then start designing yourself. 818, well, not design you, although you could. You could stamp you out in flowers. That'd be interesting. We'll try that later. Uh, 818962 is your item number, but over half the stock has gone. Don't miss out on that. That is absolutely fantastic. Right, we have got the blending brushes. These have been popular today. You've also got your case where you wrap them up and it protects each of your uh, brushes, which is brilliant. £15.99, 792366 is your item number, and you get five brushes and the case included. So you too can be like John when you get your brushes home. You can watch these shows again they will be available on rewind for you um, just an right. interesting point on yes. the on the brushes the case um, a lot of people asked about getting the case because they bought the brushes separately yeah. or want to use like i do i use multiples because this is how i keep my water, bullet, Ooh, water brushes good. as well we've put these on as an end of call for people 
Well, you could get, so if you you want, could get some brushes you can inside get there brushes as well. Inside. I yeah. keep brushes in them at home. I keep yeah. water brushes in them at home. Marker pens. I think yeah. I'm going to transfer my Copics into one, to be honest. Oh, I like but that. Yeah, we've put them on as an end of, like, you know, have you thought about that in case anyone fabulous. wants just the case? If you do want to go for just the case, it is on end of call, but going it with the brushes, details are on your screen right there. Oh, we've had a question from Carol, John. Now, Carol says, with the stencils, do the apertures match up with the press cut dies in the square circle rectangle shape? It's a good question. Thank you. Yes, of course they do. There you go. Because Excellent. I drew them. Um, I keep to the same basic maths. So we keep our, our if you look here, so I'm trying to measure this is difficult, to be honest. But that's, see, that is four inches. Yep. Yeah. If you that say. means that that aperture there is six inches. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah, we've kept to that five by seven ratio that we've used through all of the press wow. cut dies. Same with the circle, same with the square, and same with the oval. Excellent. Because ovals all come with different aspect ratios. Yeah, they do. Yeah, you're the right. The oval is identical to my media plate, the oval dies I've done, and yeah. the press cut oval. Super. We keep the same pattern all the time. Because if not, you end up having to buy new all the time. Yeah, and of course. We bought this stuff to use, haven't we? Yeah. Haven't we? That's the point. Fabulous. Uh, we've only got about, oh my goodness, a minute and a half. Right, I'm okay, sorry. really simple the then. Time gone? Let's take that one I had earlier. Yep. Yeah, okay. So this is the one that I got from cleaning my stencil. Okay, oh yeah. Okay, yeah. So I'm just going to slide it back in. And that's the great thing about the stencil and the board. That's now still held securely. Yep. I'm going to take a little bit of just black Versafine. And the cloud stencil, it is online because it comes in this textures one. And I'm just going to. Stencil wow. over that. Coming down, start at the top. A little bit on the stencil brush, that's literally it. Yeah, I want another one there. Every time you can keep adding and make a really cloudy, stormy sky. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. And looks very familiar at the okay. moment as well, John. It does, actually. <laughs> but take that out and you'll see there how that looks. Oh, I l that look at that and so and perfect within that circle exactly within that circle and again all you would do you could stamp a flower over that a sentiment the peter's tree looks amazing over it yep. which is one of the 2j stamps so much you can do but that took no time and genuinely no skill i love because i ain't got it <laughs> <laughs> you have you've got plenty of it in abundance. when it comes to things like this <laughs> I, that's why i designed the products to make it easy if it's easy for me then anyone can do it oh john what a show um should we do it all again at 12. i think we should I yeah think that might be fun. yeah let's do that uh thank you very much for joining us for this show do check out your baskets don't miss out we do have another show at 12 and people do buy in between the shoes shoes in between your shoes shows we'll see you in a moment so i'm gonna get my